The time has come to build Athens into the greatest city Greece the world has ever known. Athens will be a center of culture and learning, and the greatest heroes will call the city home. Only a few monstrous obstacles remain between you and this glorious destiny. Defeating these monsters could open up new possibilities for Athens. Theseus's womanizing habits continue to cause problems for those associated with him. He and his best friend Pyrithous have decided that they must marry daughters of Zeus. Theseus has already made off with Helen from Sparta, and now Theseus and Pyrithous are planning to raid the underworld and steal Hades' wife, Persephone. If Hades wouldn't let Persephone go back to her own mother, he surely won't give her up to Pyrithous and Theseus. Meanwhile, Hercules has been off in the land of Elis, serving as King Augeus' stable boy. He'll be looking for a new challenge soon, and Demeter might just have one for him. Jealous of Artemis's menagerie of animals, she has been looking for some livestock to call her own. I have come down from Mount Olympus. It is I, the Olympian Potato. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> the previous part was such a monster episode. <laughs> Believe me, there were chunks cut out. Hopefully they were subtle, that uh, I decided to have the quest text at the start of this one instead of the end of the previous. It's probably a better way to do it anyway. Yeah, so uh, the final uh, part of Athens for the Ages is the hero's habit. It's funny, I barely read these when I'm in game or remember what they are, but uh, I'll probably title the videos of the series with each one. So hopefully they'll have some prominence, at least as far as uh, viewing it. So the first objective is a population of 5,000. We have 7,000. We already beat it. That's not going to stop me from building another housing block. We need one final sanctuary. Possibly there is space in the town for two. Let's check the mythology tab. No, there's only space for one. So the Arbor of Athena. So for the Arbor, I was thinking up here to finally make use of this, because I wanted something on that mountain the whole time. But I was also thinking maybe we can put it near the, uh... uh <laughs> near the, um, the car park. Because, you know, the car park is ugly. Oh, let's put a housing block up here! Okay. Alright, and also, I know there's a monument there, but whatever, we'll get rid of it. Okay, we'll do housing here. We'll do the Arbor of Athena up here by the car park, because... We don't want to break too many of the roads, but they'll be replaced pretty quickly. Athena is going to give us olives. I believe Athena's the, the one that will give us olives. And uh, olives are well suited up near the meadows. We can put a couple of olive presses there. That basically means, yes, here at the very end, we've been struggling for olives and olive oil. We only really just started to create a bit of a downtown recently. Well, uh, finally with her, we can have our own production that is not dependent on anyone else. Isn't that nice? And I guess we will do it. If we do it that way, it'll look pretty good. But that will always also take up a little bit. Let's do it sideways. Oh, ooh. Uh, I can't undo either, for some reason. All right, we'll have a weird backwards one then. And then the roads will come along like so. And we can have that one there with a roadblock. These roadblocks are very peculiar. That one isn't necessary anymore. The Artisans Guilds are fine. So, straight, and we figured out the marble and all of that. So, one, two, three. And these will all be removed later. We are going to say, get marble. Oh, hit the X. We will say, get marble here. We will say, get wood here. And we will say, get. And we're selling sculptures, but we're cooking some now as well. We will do that. So, that will just work straight away. So, that's a big part. Now, we're going to be attacked by some monsters. Like it says here, fulfill a forthcoming quest. I think that'll be a monster. I think there's going to be heroes' halls in, in, involved with the monsters. I think one of those heroes' halls is going to require the arbor to Athena. So we've already got that set up. Now, just to be clear, I haven't actually looked at any guides or anything about this. I'm just kind of winging it. I happen to know that there are a couple of monsters, but that's about it. So, um, yeah, that, uh, mostly this is going to be chill. And we are going to be building and make it enacting my final designs. So I actually wrote a couple of notes down for different things that I want to do with the town before we move on, because this is the last we'll see of Athens. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do here is fix this in terms of having a uh, tower there. I want to have towers in the four corners, but wait. Oh, we can't undo that either. That's really weird. Let's just turn the game speed down, please. Uh, if we're going to have to have space for a hall, I think this back wall might have to come out. So we can kill... And money is no object. All right, it really isn't here at Jurassic Park. 
We realised we could. Uh, what's the what's the quote? We never stopped to what wonder if we should. <laughs> Butchered that. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing good. I've been really looking forward to getting to the end of the Athens thing here, just so that we can. It feels a little bit like free play, you know. That's the idea. So we want an outer road for the towers, so that when we call people to the towers, people will actually man them. So those already have. So do we, I think that's fine. This is a little bit uneven, isn't it? But it's, it's still okay. And then we've got a bit of space out there for may maybe not even just one hero's hall, maybe multiple hero's halls. And look, the road is disconnected, which is kind of on theme with what we did. Now, the last part was a little bit messy in the halfway through, the palace got destroyed and we kind of reloaded. I, w I made the save that we reloaded to right in the middle of beautifying this. So technically, some of the parks and things we built went away. Like, do you remember this row of Doric columns back here that I said you could barely see? Well, they vanished. Also, over here, we haven't finished this part here. So I guess we were getting pop-ups galore and, you know, whatever was happening. So Nice, we get the good-looking park. And we'll do Doric columns along here, along here, around the theatre, which kind of juts out in an ugly way. Not those two, but we can just delete them. So that's good. So, And then I'm going to do another style of column for these guys. Let's do parks. And, I mean, they, they, they want quite a lot of appeal. Let's hope that they're okay with the benches. And then let's give them... And Corinth is no longer a threat. Colin, Corinth, Colin, Col Corinth is one of our vassals now. They're bitter to us. They want marble and wine. I will give you wine. No, sorry, that's begging. I will give you wine. Not grapes. Straight up wine. Loads of it. Be happy with me. I'm a nice guy. You, I don't know what the hell you want. You're paying me tribute of armor, though, which is amazing. Do you want, perhaps, money? People like money. Now, that's something I could have been doing a lot in these recent episodes. Giving money. Corinth and Sparta are the only guys that still... Oh, no. Ithome is still bitter. Well, here, you want... You don't want anything. You only sell things. That means you want money. Like... Paying people off is really good. So here, uh, this is Amphipolis. They're bitter. I'm sorry, Amphipolis. You can have money. I'm just going to throw a ton of money at people. Insubordinate. You like marble and olive oil. Well, I'll do money for you as well. Gnosis is insubordinate. I will give you money as well. Let's stabilize Greece by distributing a little of the flow here. Marathon is bitter. There you go. All right. Distributing the flow? What did I just say? <laughs> no idea. All right, uh, that's looking a bit dodgy there. So let's go with a scholarly monument. We don't see those very often because we don't win the games very often. <laughs> I think it's fair that we don't... Oh, no. We, did I do... Is that a Corinthian column? We did go to Corinth now, right? I just said it out loud. Yeah. I, I think it's fair that scholarly monuments are not a thing since the, the number of weird little mistakes we've made here. Now... They want food. You don't have food because you don't have food. You don't have food because... I think we're finally running out of cheese. Now, let's look at our workforce. There are 134 people unemployed. For the first time in a long time, we have unemployment issues. So, oh, this is good. What a way to bookend Athens. We started with the dairies, and boy, we're ending with the dairies. Three more dairies. Look at that. Everyone's thanking us. Well... Not everyone, but a lot of people. The nice people are thanking us for the money. And you know what? Let's put some more dairies back here as well. Cheese. Wonderful cheese. Cheese built this city. So here, the maintenance man will work, but we have to remember our rule. He's first going to try and walk here. Here and here. Maybe not that one at the very bottom. I'm just being safe. And he'll even try and walk there. So we're going to do that. That way he's all right with that. I, of course, could have just moved this roadblock and could have dairied all of this up. So, oh, actually, I am going to do that because... Well, no, we'll have growers lodges here. We're going to have some growers... Because the... this is going to be olive oil, olive trees straight away. So we'll have growers lodges and a couple of olive presses once that's built. But it's going to take a little while. Our artisans are working away. We can, of course, do a bit more with them. So there you go. This, the car park is kind of getting fixed a little bit. Goat town over here. <laughs> what have I called this? Old town? Goat town? It's any kind of town. 
All right, look. Only room for these goods in the city is right here in my cart. You're happy, so let's get these guys. Well, until there's cheese here, we're we're not gonna get anything going with these guys. But uh, I'll tell you what, I will get you ready. Okay, more money. Interesting that some of them are delayed. Do you guys think that some of them are delayed because of the distances we're dealing with? So you can get a full bay of olive oil ready. We can make our footpaths a little bit more. It's tribute time, the end of the year. We're actually full on armor, amazing. Sparta with the armor there, we're actually full. So we'll do that. We'll stop that. Now if we're full on armor, we've probably got a, a lot of people that can attack right now. So if anyone is not in the fold right now, because we're unifying Greece, we're making Greece a proper full on country here. So look, uh, Themyscira, the Amazonians that attacked us before, they are rivals. Let's conquer them. Let's enlist everyone, but not an ally. We don't need an ally. Now, our hero is gone, but our entire navy will go. So let's take them out. They need fleece, but whatever. So that's something for them to be done. Does that hit our unemployment while that's happening? I don't know. We could do that. Uh, food, it says too distant. But that genuinely means too distant there. It really does. So I'm going to destroy that granary since it's empty. And what that will hopefully do is it will shift some more of our stuff over here. Uh, and in fact, I'll tell you why more cheese issues might be occurring here. Because of all of these. So I'm now going to say empty. <laughs> We've moved all of our cheese to the south of the city. And I'm going to say empty here. And once they're empty, I don't know, they're going to take a long time to move it wherever they want to move it to. But once uh, they go, off they go. Uh, once that's empty, we can... Um, because we don't, we didn't need. I've not even seen them buying this cheese yet. Apparently they buy the cheese, but I've barely seen it. We got a crap ton of uh, bronze. Oh, there was a really cool thing that I realised we can do with the bronze, but I forget now. All right, so the armories are all full. Look at all of this! Oh my god! All right, let's get some more sculptures studios. And we'll put the bronze to good use with sculptures then. Um, one, two. And then up here. We'll have these ones going. Along here, there's all maintenance along here. Sculptures like mad so that we can sell them. We are still selling them. I'm gonna stop saying, oh, okay, so I think my, my plan was something like to have a getting storehouse. And then next to it, an accepting, but on a l I don't know, I don't know. This works. It's getting, and they are shifting it over to sell every now and then, I think, anyway. Or maybe we just need to toggle stuff off of get. Let's watch. That's no longer in get. Yeah, look, they instantly move it to sell it, now that it's not getting. There's a lot of logic I've got to learn here. Look at this. So we're instantly selling all of the sculptures. I think my my proposal from two episodes back won't work. Because if you use a storehouse to get goods near the training posts, the tra they're not going to sell it, though, because it's getting. I.e., this is, I think, my ultimate conclusion here. If you're going to have trading posts that are disconnected from the rest of the city for to facilitate the direct transfer of goods, you can do that, but you have to manually toggle things off of get once they're filled up to actively sell. I believe that there is no way to have a fully automated, disconnected trading hub. You would have to toggle for the purposes of selling. Importing, it can be automated, but selling, no. You look, you see that the thing is full of statues, you turn it to accept instead of get, and it will sell. And then you, you toggle it back. I don't know whether I want to do that. I like the whole automation thing. But your reward for doing that manually is the disconnected thing, people would move quick. So kind of your choice. As for other elements of disconnected city building, I think they're still fine, like random carding sheds and stuff. It's a good idea. They're grateful for the wine. They thank for the money. It's much appreciated, everyone likes money. There you go, so let's just delete that for now, I suppose. And I'm looking to get rid of some of these on the side here. In fact, let's do that now. Um, we are buying that fleece. So we want to shift that fleece quick, to be honest. 
Alright, also that armor ain't going anywhere. I'm not moving that. Screw it. Let's get rid of this, this. Let the wheat go. Screw it. If they're not if they're, they're too slow, that they're not gonna get the wheat. Alright, here's the big moment, guys. A big moment we've already seen. Goodbye, Hermes. But we I like the idea someone's been like. Ugh, do I really want to watch WP play this old fucking game? And they've clicked on the video. Very rarely, they've just clicked for tiny little moments on this Let's Play, right? And the last time they clicked, I was doing exactly this. <laughs> and they clicked it again now, and they're like, What? What's going on? <laughs> I think that'll be really good. Uh, we'll remove that and that. We'll bring that all the way along. We'll bring that all the way along. That all the way along. And this is going to be a bit uneven because Avenue or whatever, but I want it, so I'm going to have it. There we go. One, two. One, two. One, two. No, no pretty statues for us, but whatever. So there's one behind. And then we're going to have a trading post to Thermopylae. That looks better, I think. A trading post to Marathon. A trading post to these guys since it's empty. Plataea. And we will be selling fleece. Uh, sculptures. We will be. Um. Do it. Buying wheat. We will be buying fleece. We won't be doing anything else there. Uh, and then these guys could go in front since they're not really central. And if we've got one behind, we can have one in front. I think that's that, that's fair. Oh, no, no, but... I think I'm going to do this a different way. I'm going to say, delete that. And we're going to do that there. There you go, two behind, perfectly. Perfectly goes that. We put that there. And then a maintenance worker here. Okay. And now these two storehouses are getting marble and getting sculpture and wood, 16 apiece. Well, eight there, that's fine. So these two will ensure that the artisans that are building this are going to be okay. Now, if we look at our employment, 51 people, I'm happy to add a couple more artisans and... We'll have them stationed up here, just so that there's a little bit more going on. Fill in some of this weird oddness around here. So mythology, artisans, 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 artisans. You still don't have food. Well, you will soon. Because cheese is coming across the city. Now, uh... For Goat Town. Hmm. We conquered Themyscira. The Ithium games begin. Goat Town only ever needed a bit of culture to evolve. They only ever wanted something more than a gym. So let's give them something more than a gym, shall we? We can't... And here, the Agora trick. We're not even using the Agora trick here. Look at that. I built all of these roads, but the Agora trick is not being utilised. Because... We built that side path. So, we can put two feeder culture buildings down here. We will have a college. And we will have a drama school. Which is an odd setup. I think what Impressions had in mind was on one side of the housing block is like f commodity access. On the other side is like cultural access, and the cultural access can like do double blocks or something. But they never ended up going with that, so hey. Well, sorry, they never. I didn't hear. <laughs> this is. I'm wondering what they. Oh, some people have been watching this, desperate for me to fix these uh, these posts. I'm not gonna do it, guys. I'm not gonna change it. So uh, with that, they will want one theater. And the theatre can come right out over here. Sorry, goodbye. I hope you have a new life somewhere. And they will want one podium. And we have an odd number here, so that's good. What it means is I can say a podium here. I like to mix it up. Like I could have had them right next to each other, but no. 
and we should be able to perfectly fit the houses in. And by doing that, we haven't lost a single house, except that guy has been kicked out in the meantime. You know, you could say just turn around, but another thing to think about with the whole turning around idea is, you know, days are passing quick. Like, we're going by months fast, so, you know, he might have been homeless for weeks. He's got he's to get moving quick. Mm. I've made possibly the most delicious cup of coffee I've ever made. I've got it in my hands right here. So let's put more right. Oh, not ironic. It feels like every time I've got to like guess, I've got to get lucky because I don't know. Like in any game or any general interaction, I always end up unlucky. I always guess the wrong goddamn thing. Right, so, and we've got to leave an entrance for them. So I'm going to have the entrance over there by that bench, I think. Or, well, okay, we'll leave the entrance depending on which goat moves first. How about that? It feels like ages ago we threw those fireballs down. It's just these episodes in the Athens adventure have taken a long time. Like, I was getting lots of episodes per day made, right? I was really... And I've spent just as much time playing uh, as I did before, but... <laughs> The episodes are so long, you know, it's like, damn. Okay, so here, you have raised my eye, you perni uh, pernicious cur. At my command, all uh, walking the city streets will find themselves in the underworld. And all your mints and foundries will find the earth devoid of precious ore. So that's a bit ridiculous, Impressions. You're making Hades attack me in a town that has no interest at all in foundries and mints. We don't do that here. So, weirdly made adventure there. But he's also unleashed Cerberus. Maybe they're trying to go easy on us, because this is still just Adventure 3, right? Uh, Cerberus will avenge me! Watch as he turns some of your valuable buildings into chew toys. You chill. <laughs> I'll uh, go to great lengths to punish you. So where is Cerberus? Cerberus is here. Looks like in our newest block. Hercules will battle Cerberus. We can bring Hercules to the city by building Hercules' hall. Marathon is selling more wheat. The Isthmian Games concluded. We did not do very well. Our warriors have returned from their triumphant assault on Themyscira. Okay. I guess the goats are safe because I'm not going to be dealing with that anymore. So they're bitter. They buy fleece. I will give you fleece to make you happy and unlikely to rebel. Also, because I don't think we have any fleece shortages or anything. That's like the one thing that's not been a problem. And if it ends up a problem this episode, well, that will just be brilliant, won't it? Next, we also have Sardis, the rival. So let's conquer Sardis. No time to rest, everybody. Off you go. But we won't take Lorien with us. Off you go. Let's take out Sardis. Even though Sardis kind of likes us. Sardis wasn't an ally, please. No, yeah, rival. Okay. So, Cerberus. Cerberus requires Hercules. Hercules might want to live near the palace. He might not. I don't know. Um, let's have a look, shall we? Mythology. Hercules. It's been ages since we've seen Hercules. The walls are still not good enough. Well done, WP. you got to bring him further out. One more out. By the way, I think there's something really interesting going on with the, uh, the wall-like thickness. Right, Heroes Hall. There. And then we've got space for another one. Hercules needs excellent culture access. Win a Pan-Hellenic game. Excellent gymnasium access we already have. Lots of people in the city. 32 amphorae of wine. Well, we're only one away. So we've got to give him culture. So actually, should we do something super fancy and weird with the palace? Now, let's see. There is already a drama school and, out, and a college out the front. So if we... And they're also... Fairly close to the stadium. I don't think he needs stadium access. I don't know if that counts as excellent. I don't think he needs stadium access. Well, he doesn't need to be near the palace at all. To be honest, we could just put him in our elite neighborhood and he'd evolve straight away. He'd be happy. But I like this idea of it being very cultured around the palace. Uh, the problem is, if he does need the stadium, we're going to be playing this through while Cerberus destroys our town. Whatever, Cerberus gets to have a time to shine, I suppose. Let's do it. So, uh, we're going to go to the culture tab, and we're going to say a podium. Hmm. We have two roads there. Are they not, not completely unnecessary? 
Or actually, can a gym be that? Yeah, alright. A podium is the smallest. I think the expansion has differently sized... Uh, I think... Uh, we'll have a theatre right next to him. And he wants a gym there as well. So the theatre is just... The theatre is massive. <laughs> the theatre... The theatre is just so big. Uh, so we have to play time forwards here to let the theatre go away because I did undo. There we go. So the theatre, I think, instead is going to have to be like... Do you see how we play for just a bare a moment? And immediately... Smash, smash, smash! Jesus. Okay, and then the gym... We'll go... I mean, I want them to patrol around and stuff. Let's put the gym there. The row... Oh, no, 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 I got an idea. Let's put the gym behind the maintenance office. Pull the road out halfway. And boulevard the road. And then we could even shift Hercules in a little bit. So Hercules can sit in there, which means the podium could have been in a slightly different place. Oh! Well, oh, we missed it! Oh, we missed it! Okay, because we have Apollo. I bet Apollo just walked over and killed Cerberus. Cerberus has been slain. The city's residents no longer need to worry about his deadly bites. We didn't see what he did. We didn't see his animations. I assume he destroyed something. Look, he killed all these people. Oh, what? Well, I don't know now if we delete Hercules's hall. I don't know if we delete his hall, we'll ever get it back. So I'm just going to leave it there. Oh, man. We missed it. Well, thank you, Apollo. Apollo is kind of like the, the secret weapon of this campaign, I think. Because, again, he can deal with the dragon. So, tower tower. And I think we want some halfway towers probably as well. I love that the, the graphic of the tower has them like getting shoved out a little bit. But in terms of game mechanics, that still doesn't matter. It's still fine. Um, and in fact, you think about like the, the graphics of the road. Like they've got that little gap to the left and the right of the road and then it it works as far as the towers are concerned. It's just, it's just very cool. I really like clever things about the game. Like that. Here, there's a goddamn hole in the wall. Which I think was obscured by the palace before. So what's going on here with this curse? The palace is cursed. Nothing good will come of it. Nothing good will come of it. What does that mean? We can't tax people? I think also let's do a tower here. And a tower here. I'd love to get in a fight with someone. That's a very weird that you never really hear me say that, but there it is. I'd love to get in a fight with someone just to see them get destroyed by this here. It's like, you know, a person who's started going to the gym and got his confidence. And now he's looking for a fight. That's me right here. Look at this. I'm, someone try and fight my beautiful palace. Oh, and I know, I know we could have done the inside, but we could also do like benches. Look at those happy little benches there. Or oh, we could do benches all along. We'll do a couple of columns, maybe. A couple of columns. <laughs> Unironically, I really like that. Uh, and then over here, have we had a single fish pond at Athens? There's a fish pond for Athens. A conquest monument for Athens. Okay. That drama school should be sending someone to go work there. I'll be astounded if it, how comes you're going off road? Second place at the games. But what does it mean to win anyway? Aren't we all winners in our way? Oh, I see, because some kind of uh, we were hosting a game there. So, I would like to see people moving up there so that we can summon Hercules. If Hercules doesn't work here, we will just we'll move and do something else. Now, why do I still hear smashing? If Cerberus is dead, why do I hear smashing? Is it because Hades is here also destroying our stuff? Hades pummels Apollo. Greetings, noble mortal. Fulfill my quest and you will be rewarded. Wow, I think a bunch of stuff was happening there. 
Apollo was fighting Hades and Hades won. Yeah, because the gods themselves can fight, guys. And there's hierarchies of which gods can do which thing. So how do we defeat Hades? Uh, well, check this out. I, Demeter, I liked her voice there, have spotted the most interesting cattle. They belong to the three-bodied Gerion, Gerion, and I want to get them before Artemis uh, claims them for her menagerie. Send a mighty hero like Hercules to retrieve them for me. So someone here destroyed our elite housing and our tax office. Oh, I love the idea that Hades goes after the tax offices. Oh, there he is. You have raised, you have raised my ire, you pernicious cur. There you go. He's that's his voice acting of the same thing that I just read. But he's um. So I can right click him and he'll talk to us. Is it only when they're hostile that they'll talk to us? There's a fire in the sea. Because these guys don't have maintenance workers. Because they're on the other side of a roadblock. I don't want to think about all the commodities we probably just lost there. Uh, do I need to replace this? Oh my god, he's just... Is he going to destroy my palace? Oh, he left. He ran at the palace. He destroyed the walls. And... Um... And he just peaced out. There you go. No, no, no. The theater's working. Please tell me you don't. Come on. That's pretty good, man. You've had a philosopher. You've had an athlete. You've had an actor. You've had everything, man. Okay. And the gym is there. In theory, I think it's because this part of the city just, it's not connected. Two. All these elites died. Who else did Hades destroy in his rampage? I don't know. I don't think he's ever going to get to that stadium unless we make a new road. I think I'm going to do it. Christ knows what Agoras this is going to break. I think what it is is it's this road here. This maintenance post. Look at how tight this is has to shift like that. This is like IRL, you know, where someone wants to build a motorway or a railway and suddenly you're going through people's houses and everyone gets really goddamn pissy about it. I'm gonna spam that. Okay, competitors in theory. Sorry, Apollo. I love watching mortals at their games, play acting, pontificating, and athleticizing. Athleticizing. Uh, I, I'm so sad that we missed this fight. He killed Cerberus, but lost to Hades himself. There you go, we conquered Sardis. Darius is ashamed. Sardis is now ours. So Sardis is hidden underneath that. They buy olive oil. Do we do we dare? Well, let's play the game properly. Let's have a look. Olive oil, we have 91. That's fine by me. I think 91's not a problem. That's our army. So here's a gift of olive oil. There you go. It's tribute month. Armor can't come in. None of that other stuff. Okay. We'll look back at Hercules in a minute. Now, what am I going to buy? A horse. It's a horse, of course. <laughs> of course. The horse, of course. So, now that that's built, by the way, we're going to say empty. Uh, that was saying get, but we don't care anymore because it's done. And we're going to say empty. Because we're looking to build Hermes' as one now. Your city is worthy of Hercules' presence. Nice, a competitor went up there. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? I'm really happy now. We got the great palace. We got good. Look at this, fully evolved. This guy hasn't. He wants more appeal. Should we, um... I mean, we've come this far. I'm doing it. Finally get rid of that ugly bench thing that I was doing. And it really was ugly, wasn't it? But remember, we put this down before we could even afford a avenue for this. Or boulevard, I guess. Uh, we could... Shall we try... This. They're going to need a back road, though. So we do columns there. That's all fine. I'm not going to mess with that. Elite housing... There, there. Road there. So that they don't despawn. 
I think they'll get their commodities. That needs to go now. But that can... Uh, Doric Columns to finish that off. And we can say... Look, I'm, I'll give you a monument on the... I'll, I'll, I'll put monuments all along the back of there. That's something that I used to do a lot, and I've avoided it so far in this Let's Play, because I think it's ugly as sin, but, you know... Um, it is what I used to do. So, for example, happiness. You can always spam a lot of happiness monuments. So you can do, like, a row of monuments. What have you got? I hope it's something worthy of the strongest man alive. It is, in fact. We have got to get you to get a cow. Christ, where was the cow? Hmm. Oh, no, here we go. We do it from the quest menu here. Acquire the cow of Gerion. Oh my god, okay, and then just Hercules. I was going to say, we could send an army with him if we wanted, but there's no need to do that. So, dispatch. Nice. So, they're off. So, yeah, back to this. I guess we did run out of happiness monuments, actually. I don't know how regularly happiness comes in, or how exactly it works. Conquest, we have plenty of, though. So, we can do that, and then the road along the back, like this. Um, then we have a little space there for some flower garden and a gazebo. It's a nice way of filling a 2x4. And then Doric columns up the back and along here. Nice. So, as far as I know... Oh, how are people going to move in there, though? Let's have a gap. <laughs> Let's have gaps. Wait for people to get in first. <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. So, here's where, like... Okay, if they had parks, people will walk along the parks to get into the houses. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Doric columns along here would look nice. We could even do an outer ring of columns around this lovely thing here as well. I want to see our towers being manned, okay? So 190 workers needed. Shall we start evolving more people? I'm sure that the olive oil crisis is over. Well, I'm not sure, actually. So let's see. Greece is pretty well developed here. So olive oil, we have 76. Olives, we have zero. That means... That's good to see, though. Because what that means is that our olive presses are using all the olives as they come in. Like, straight away. Oh, it's because we stopped building... We stopped buying olives when I replaced that. Which was very silly. Wheat marble. Great. We could buy... No, that's selling... Fish, wood, marble. Grapes we could import from there. To make sure the wine keeps flowing. Olive oil we've got there selling cheese. There we go! No, no, no! They have cheese on the platform! And the two granaries are empty. Again, see, so look. It's not a coincidence that now that we put two granaries on empty, i.e. not get, now we're seeing that the cheese is being sold. That's not a coincidence. It's because these two gran... This is the same situation as before. Those granaries nearby said get to get cheese. I now need to manually toggle them off of that so the stuff will sell. Fantastic. Oh, you know, the one thing that I still really don't know is what else to use this island for. You know, in a normal Let's Play with, like, a slightly more modern game, and you might have noticed this of me, I'd have maybe some expectation that you guys are playing along with me. I have absolutely zero expectation anyone is playing this along with me or will get this game. And actually, I'm not even sure if I recommend you guys get this game, because it's fun, it's great. But the controls are really kind of weird. And I've, you know, a few years ago, I watched a Let's Play of this, and I was like, I want to play Zeus. But when you get in there and you're alone, and it's like you don't have someone talking to you as you do it, and it's the horrible controls... It's not as satisfying to play it for yourself as you might expect. It's not. Uh, now, if they did a remaster... Here's what I think a, a good remaster would do. All the random crap I've been talking about, obviously. Fundamentally the same game. But have like a good... Uh, has it as like a modding platform, you know? Custom adventures, mod tweaks. That would bring such life into this game. And, you know, the others in its, in its series. Anyway, you know, if they did that, I'd recommend. And then I'd say, look, guys, you ever come here at any point in your life, do something cool with this island. I don't know... I don't know what. I mean, they, they give us so much. Ooh, what? Fleece. This ah. is like Ajax, head and shoulders above the rest. We broke 
the setup. Now, how did we break the setup? Probably when we connected for... <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, when we connected this block to this block, it all became a mega block. And overwhelmed whatever I've put at the back over here. So I'm at a crossroads. I could very easily just pull a little road out there and it's done and put it there and we're done. They would just go out the front and then round the side and it's fixed. Or we can break this, possibly messing with Hercules. Or we could build an epic car park like you'd never believe. But the Agora trick would still survive. I don't, uh, it's not going to survive. We're doing it this way. We've seen it. We know what the dealio is. And look at that. We've got an interesting plaza type area there. There you go. So it's no longer too distant. So these all came alive again. So these will re-evolve. So we're okay. Why are you all the way down to Shack? All right, you ran out of food before anyone else, I guess. So you have it. And by the way, yeah, here again, if you actually remember, I had decorated all of this stuff before. I am so thoroughly pleased. Oh, there we go. Have fulfilled my quest. Hercules herds cattle of Gerion. I'm so thoroughly pleased. You fulfilled my quest. Hercules has obtained the cattle. Artemis is going to be so envious of me. You can now construct a commemorative monument in honor of me, the great goddess Demeter. Unfortunately, I don't have a thing for her. Uh, like a, a full uh, statue. But this, these ones are always really spe special. The large Demeter. Look at how cool that is! You got small ones and large ones? That's like the easiest quest ever, and it's got the most amazing monument here. It's got to go out the front of the palace. I mean, there may be better spots. The maintenance post is now becoming a bit of an eyesore. But damn, that looks good, doesn't it? My lady. She awarded me this grand monument. See, I reckon that there probably are some good custom adventures where... Uh, People have used more of these large statues because you don't get many of them and you only really like here you can see it's right at the end of Athens. Like it's interesting for me to think there's probably in code a version of each of these statues for the gods. Uh, but maybe some of them don't even appear because they're just not a part of the quest chains or whatever. Or if they do appear, it's in the last two seconds before you leave. That's kind of a shame, you know. It'd be cool to have them filtered in more. And that's exactly the kind of thing that custom adventures can do. Speaking of which, uh, we've actually only done one of these. Yearly profit? Of 2,500. Best is zero? Hmm. Population of 5k. It's shrunk, but we're fine with that. Three sanctuaries. Only one is complete. Hold on. Apollo is... Yeah, Apollo's done. Let's unpause. These guys are looking for wood. I wonder if we should start buying wood. And I saw these guys will sell it to us, right? Not those guys. These guys. There, let's buy some wood off of Gnosis. Because uh, I'm not really sure. We should be getting some as tribute, but that's going to take some time otherwise. So we'll buy some wood, and eventually that will work its way up. And look, it looks like we've created something of a mega city here now. Still too distant for food, because these guys still don't have any food. You just get any food, man. Any food. Put tributes in there, whatever you want to do. But these guys are saying... I'm not moving until you someone to help me unload these goods well look over there unload them over there you can walk there that's not even that far or is he upset about the unemployment 1334 workers needed Ooh, let's fast forward and watch all this evolve oh my word look at that that's like watching a nature documentary when um oh the minotaur is back uh, where you're watching like a plant and it's like twitching as it grows. Go to the site of the event. That unnatural offspring of Pasiphae has charged into our city, slaying anyone who would go near him. He's up by the goats. Theseus' hall is here. But Apollo is here. Check it out. Oh my god, look, he's rapid firing. He's like Ash, guys, from League of Legends. There you go, down he goes. Boom. Nonetheless, we can get Theseus as well if we want. The Minotaur's been slain. Hooray. See, this was required. Wasn't Apollo required? I mean, he basically just beats the mission for you. Can we build it anyway? We can. Theseus. Theseus, funnily enough, wants to be in here. 
So let's get rid of the fish bond. There'll be plenty. There'll be plenty of time for fish ponds later. Um, let's do parks. I'm looking forward to doing the next adventure so that I can look forward to getting to the final mission. <laughs> Again. Hall is protected by walls. Build the hall near the palace. That's apparently not close enough to the palace. So. Delete, delete, delete. We know we have the space here. We just, uh... We just gotta get him closer. So... Heroes Hall for Thesia. Well... <laughs> Build me a pyre to roast my friend upon. There you go. Now I hope that you're satisfied with that. That's pretty close, Theseus. I mean, how much closer do you want to be? Okay, he's built near the palace. Now he's still. Now he needs the good appeal. And then let's be very clear. What did we break? We broke a gym and a maintenance post. So gym, the road, and a maintenance post. And then two benches. I know what you're thinking. What are you going to do about the appeal, WP? Apparently there's good appeal. All right, so he needs it to be protected by walls. So this front door... See, this bit I'm not going to like very much because I really liked our setup there. Like, in terms of visuals. But it's technically not protected unless we put a gatehouse there. And we're already more than familiar with the whole asymmetry issue. So let's do those two there like that. And we can put, like, a, a tower on there, maybe. Right. So you're protected by walls, you're close to the palace, you've got good appeal, you want marble and wine. Little bit nervous it says we don't have any wine. So let's build some more wine, since that's full up, the bays are full up. I know our city needs more workers, but we will, uh, we will have plenty. Let's keep making our own wine here. Anyone else for us to conquer? Uh, that's a vassal, that's a vassal, vassal, vassal. Colony, vassal, 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 ally, vassal. Rival, Ellis, the rival, produces wine. Now that's my wine. Okay, we're going to send Hercules with them. And Lorien will come too. Let's take their wine. Yearly shipments of wine would be amazing, if that's what indeed what we'll get. Okay, pe people moving in there, people moving in there. I think uh, we expand the cheese production. I'm not joking. Seriously, I think we expand the cheese. And it's something to do with all these roads, right? So we get all of that. I mean, this is the danger with these final missions. You can just keep going and going and going. City needs more workers. It doesn't, though. It doesn't. I promise it doesn't. So, more goats in there. Goats around here, I suppose. Free roaming goats. I like this idea of some goats up there. But if I click a goat up there, they're going to go wandering all over. Whatever. Come on. That's it. Let's get... Every corner of the city has some activity. Roadblock there. What was that? Hermes Refuge is complete. Nice. Hermes is back. He's back and he's ready to help us out. There you go. So, that's more cheese we'll be getting made. Um, Beautiful. Oh... Okay, now the entrance to the city. This is something I wanted to do for ages. So I'm thinking... That we put Avenue there. And... I guess the road's gonna come out here. Along here. And we're gonna Avenue... Boulevard? Let me just make sure money's okay. It is. So we'll boulevard that. We'll avenue that. And then... Basically what I wanted was to do... Boulevard on the road. Look at this. Look at this. So we'll do it to there. And then... Like that. 
This should give us more space for Boulevard along there. Pretty good. Maybe not perfect. And then... We will have columns. I think Doric is like my go-to top column now. This is too long, though. This is a bit too long. So we can have golem co golems? Columns along like this. Let's get them right down. Let's screw it one. That no, no, no. That looks so ugly. Let's just pretend that tiny little bit in the corner isn't there. Okay, guys. And, uh, I mean... Let's do it this way. It doesn't make any sense to do it that way. Let's just have one road. It goes directly in. That's even messing with, like, their patrols and stuff. I've overcomplicated that. There you go. But you can do that out to there if you want. If you really want. And we'll avenue that. Columns. Up to here. Columns up to here. We could even put, like, intermittent fish ponds on the sides or whatever. You know? Um... What would be really cool is if there were, like, housing blocks. A gift of marble. Thank you. We conquered Ellis. Excellent. Now, Ellis, I know you're mad at me, but can I just say... All right, we'll wait for the army to come home. It's like, that would go there. That one would go there. This one would go here. Like, if there were housing blocks right here, and then housing blocks right here, you can begin to see, right, how... First of all, how much population you could end up with. But just how gorgeous this could all end up. I'm kind of mad that they're just ignoring my thing. <laughs> to go out that way. Oh, no, no, not like that. No, 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 no. Let's not go too nuts here. All right, that that's okay there. There. All right, you can go up the mountain if you like. Oh, well, hold on. Hold the phone. They want to go up there? Let's let them go up there. With Boulevard. A couple of trees and things I want to get rid of, but not all of them. Let's move that in there. Oh, guys, I could just spend hours beautifying. I really could. Once you've got the cash for it. Look at that. And we'll let, we'll let the natural tree line take that. And then we will build this, I think. Um, and I want to have it surrounded by walls. This is going to be a thing where we're already 50 minutes into the episode, so I'm just going to cut, okay? And I genuinely, I'm, I'm going to resist the temptation to ramble in any way. We are just going to build. So I'll see you all soon. We're going to have a one thick wall. I'm doing two water fountains. I don't care. We've had too many issues. And we can afford it now. Let's do everything here. This is this is kind of a cool setup mathematically, right? Which is... This does not count as rambling, by the way. But um, if we put the watch post in as well, which again is unnecessary, but... There's something nice about it. It should be like these two, and then those two flanking the infirmary with a certain width would be really good looking. Uh, they can have a victory monument here in celebration of our victory over the campaign. That's it. All these guys have to move now because they've realized, oh, we can't go that way. It's like they're reading maps, you know, and they've, they've realized, oh, the map is wrong. They get all the way up to the wall before they realize that's not correct. It's like Michael Scott driving into a lake. Well, let's just do a row of benches. <laughs> because I don't know how bad the appeal is going to be there. They're selling more carrots. Oh, I didn't put an Agora. You fool! Oh, with no wall there. That looks terrible, though. All right, redoing it. You've provoked me, you sniveling lout. Prepare to cross swords with Ares. Okay, Ares is mad at us. I think this is the last thing, really, in the mission. So, Lorien wants food. I can give you that food. Ares invades. Prepare to cross swords. Your mortal soldiers are no match for me. So, uh, Ares unleashes his dragon again. At my command, he will make war on some of your military buildings. I can't wait to teach you a lesson. So, that, that it, that's back up there. Jason is back. And we could defect... We could use Jason to destroy the dragon. However... He won't really fit. The palace setup is kind of donezo now. 
So we can put him out the front of the palace, maybe. Uh, like, we could, we could actually. We could put him right there. That's not too bad. He should be done almost instantly. He just needs some wine. But in the meantime, I think Apollo is going to go over there and is going to kill the dragon. This is exactly what I was talking about before. Look, Apollo's teleports over to it. Look at how good Apollo is. I bet you guys looked at Apollo before and you were like, eh, I don't know, the games? Who really cares? What does the game get you? Well, it gives you happiness and monuments and stuff, but boom, dragon dead straight away. Slain just like Cerberus. But Ares himself is probably wandering around like Hades was wandering around. We'll see if we can find him. Yeah, I'm doing a weird experiment here. Hold on. No, because there won't, there won't... It won't fit. Look, here he is, actually. There's the, there's the bastard. Destroying as much of our wall as he can. Feel the edge of my blade, you detestable sloth. So what, what are you telling me, Ares? You don't like that wall either. Yeah, I mean, I don't like it, but what do you want from me? I mean, there's not much space up here. If we're going to follow the design, I think we've got to have the Agora like this. It's probably okay to have the Agora there anyway, because we want it close to dis supplies. Which is the next piece of the puzzle. A gift of cheese. Thank you. <gasps> Does that gift of cheese finally put some cheese in this granary? No. Delivery men are awaiting instructions. It's like that granary is just completely balked, you know. Delivery men there are getting goods. Where are you guys taking all this cheese? Are you taking it to the new gran granary? I mean, these guys have started to evolve now, but I don't know whether that's because she skipped or not. No, I think it's working now, finally. I think it's working. Here you go. We can literally see the cheese men are moving in. By the way, uh, speaking of cheese men, there's a cheat that changes the way that various walkers look. One of them is very funny. I think it's it turns them like into giant dairy triangles that like wobble around like men in suits, like you'd find at... Um, well, not just men, men and women, I suppose. At, like, Disneyland or whatever. Okay, so he took out the gatehouse. Feel the edge of my blade, you detestable sloth. I don't think there's much we can do there, except just wait for him to leave. Look, we gave him some, uh, you know, some booby... Some boobies? Some booby prizes. Some just random walls and things. Okay. Food, fleece, oil. Now they need a storehouse, a storeroom. And close. So we'll do this. And we will pull this out. And this up. And we will say granary. Tribute paid. My plan for this final, uh, look at all these items for this final one was to do the uh, everything Agora related all at once, but I don't think we're going to be able to just yet, so. Hold on with that, I suppose. Right, maintenance office. Storehouse one. And that's fine, just one storehouse is okay. Get olive oil. Get fleece. Get any food you like at all. I mean, if, if that other granary was struggling, then this one certainly will be. Hey! Hey, that's not a military target. These are people just trying to live. Why is Ares so mad at us, by the way? What did we ever do? Is it because Greece is too stable now after we've destroyed all this stuff? These guys are still bitter. They want what? No, they sell wine. So I will give you money. People like money. Olympia is a rival. A rival that produces olive oil. That looks nice, doesn't it? Let's dispatch. These guys are loyal. I think as soon as Olympia's done... By the way, Olympia were a massive... I think Olympia were the original people to help us in this whole story, and they're, like, the last one we're going to grab. Actually, I'm noticing Taris exists now. So, oh, and they need armor and olive oil. They produce wine. So we'll, we'll break up Taris so that we can start trading with them. And indeed, that's one of the things here. We want everyone we conquer, we can get more trade with, which can complete the look at Hermes' place. I don't know, this is okay, but what I like to imagine is a, a beautiful grand opening into the city. And then like on the left there's a bunch of stuff, on the right there's a bunch of stuff. Right now it just kind of leads to big empty open fields, you know? 
This is like Los Angeles or something gross where you need a car to get around. That's sort of what it reminds me of. But you know what's nice? A lot of the places we're conquering are using water for their trade, which means more piers. So we kind of are using the island, not in an especially magnificent way, but we are using the island. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. I just did two really weird mistakes at once. One, I clicked that when I wanted to clear that. Two, I cleared that when I wanted to roadblock that. And we'll roadblock that there. I also want these guys to start patrolling again, because that was just about the most awesome thing I've ever seen. So go on, patrol. Hopefully that doesn't hit our workforce too much. And you guys probably need maintenance all the way up here. Now, let's see. We could sell fleece. Don't want to do that. We could sell olive oil. Don't want to do that. They're not very exciting, are they? But we can get another thing there. Now, this other trading post that we created here. We could buy wine. Oh, we're selling wine. But we actually need wine at this point. So let's stop selling it and let's start buying it. That's going to be quite an income swing, I think, probably. Now, these guys have run out of culture. So let's see what culture we've got here. I swear I heard the sound. Okay, they are missing philosophy. There is no philosophy access here any longer. And the reason for that is really difficult to tell. That podium is empty. The podium is empty because the college moved. No, did the college move? It did move a little bit, but not majorly. It's okay, I'll give you another co college. Maintenance workers walk along here, so that's fine. So I'll give you another college. And there's a roadblock. So there you go, there's, they evolved. Maybe there was just a little bit of weirdness there. These guys are now looking for olive oil. And I'll give you olive oil distribution. Okay, still combat music. I assume Hades is around somewhere. So we've done that. We need a yearly profit. We need the third sanctuary to be... We're basically done, guys. This is Athens. Uh, is there any objective that we haven't done? I'm going to conquer that last group for sure. Let's see how stable all of this is. It's mostly stable. It does look really cool. If I move the camera like this, it looks pretty good, right? But these two... The market guy didn't go to them. He, he, you know, he might be wasting time visiting the maintenance and stuff up here. If these rocks weren't here, if I put this in a slightly different place, we would have had three points to do all kinds of stuff. Uh, I will look up that design online, which is kind of a variant of this, but I think each house is totally surrounded. It's an idea of a completely free-roaming, free-planned city. And it, you know, it might not be perfectly efficient, but it's fun. Um... And yes, the next adventure might be hard because we're clicking up the difficulty level again, but we can bribe people to leave, you know. I do want to do as much combat as possible and I want to see people patrolling and whatever. Uh, so once all of these guys are evolved, Ellis thanks us for the money. We conquered Olympia. Olympia is ours. And don't be too sad, Olympia. We were friends once. You buy marble. How much marble do I have to give you, Olympia? We have 34 marble. Olympia, I'm building some... I'm using that marble. But I want you to know that old friendships are not easily forgotten. And so... Wait, that's Ellis. Olympia. I will give you what I have. There you go. Now, Taris. Oh, they're still all abroad. We need to wait for our victorious warriors to return. Ugh, why did that get destroyed again? Is it because of Ares? I guess we'll we'll wait for Ares to piss off. <laughs> uh, it really worries me that we're not in a yearly profit, but we can stop the imports, I guess. Um, I, I suppose as well, taxing. And look, all these guys fully evolved as well. That was nice. We looked away for one second here and suddenly boom. Well, I say one second. The video is an hour long already. And of course, let's appreciate here, they have evolved over the park. I was going to do those as columns, if you remember, they're parks, but they are disconnected from the road. Uh, but here, so for example, I mean, most of them are being taxed. Could we put a tax office up there? Probably not. The Agora trick is still active here, so the town is still using it see all of this as well. They're not being taxed, but they're not getting much of anything. 
Uh, what about you guys? They're all being taxed. I mean, it tells us here 98% of the population is getting taxed. Income, 16,000. Oh, look. Exp oh, here you go. Here's our total expenditure and here's our total income. We are spending 23,000. We are getting 16. So, yeah, we are not actually earning that much money right now. So... I will lower the wage rate again. By the way, you notice that the housing thing flickers very often? I'm going to lower the wage rate. Yes, we got a reputation of paying high wages. We'll go back to normal. But as these guys evolve, which is currently what's happening here, we'll have the manpower anyway. Two victory monuments in the centre of that. This earthquake area is really interesting, isn't it? I really love the thought of a player who came here, built his houses here, and just looked at the whole map and thought, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to experiment. And that's where he picked, and he got ruined for it. So there you go. So then we made slopes, not stairs, see? But yeah, they, they throw some, um, some of those. So no sooner as that wall gets broken, do they all start skipping. No, use the gatehouse. You must use... What I tell you to use. Victorious Warriors return. Happiness monument available. The last of our enemies is Taras. If you rival me, we will send in the troops. Uh, gatehouse. I'm always clicking the wrong one. Oh, it, it actually let me put it there for a second. I can't believe that. I honestly thought we were going to be... Oh, no. The gatehouse is in the wrong spot there, though. Totally cut off if I do it there. It's got to be there. And then we put that wall like that. Or something. Right, they're evolving. This is a nice humble little area, isn't it? Because there's not too many houses. I was going to say, over and over again, I love looking at the townhouses. I really like looking at the doors. You'll notice that there's a bit of a, a an art issue with this game in terms of, like, scale and perspective. A lot of games in this genre do this, I think. But so, for example, if you look at the vendor... That olive oil guy, he's pretty big. He would never fit in that door. That door is way too small. So, it's kind of... It, it's inconsistent, basically. And then when we look at, like, the bench, the bench might fit some things. The water fountain is probably too big. The infirmary is a really good one as well. This is a huge building. And the idea is it's a massive hospital tending to lots of people. And yet, not only is the building itself very kind of small looking, but the people that are there, it really gives you the impression it's two guys sitting in front of two beds. But no, I, I, I like to think that's quite a big facility, honestly. That guy's not going to evolve until he gets a little bit more appeal, because we never did finish this, did we? So let's do that. Let's give them that there. And then this will all be, I don't know, flower gardens. Ah. Oh. Olympia's grateful for the marble. Look, you lose your freedom and your autonomy, but in exchange you get, you know... So that's three parks. We can delete those. In exchange, you're on Easy Street, you know. We're pampering you. It's like playing rogue servers. Anyone knows what on earth I'm talking about there. Greece is who we pamper. They will be pampered whether they like or not. Oh, here we go. The Agora is working. The Agora is fully distributing its stuff. I'm in... Utter fool. I'm a fool! And the reason I'm a fool is because I didn't give them any culture. They're gonna need feeder buildings. <laughs> this is the most least efficient housing block you can imagine. They don't need much, they just need a podium and they just need a gym. Ah, uh, the gym. Jim, Jim, Jimothy. Oh, your city needs... Oh, hold on, hold on. Something lost access to a road. You? The college lost access to the road. It's very interesting because you appear to have a road. You're on a road there. <gasps> oh! Oh, this is cool. This is very, very cool. I was wondering about this on a previous episode. Who can guess what has just happened here? What has happened is, yes, goods can travel through the Agora, but that's a physical block as far as everyone else is concerned. So now that I've put these pillars all around everything, 
There is no way for anyone to get in there. Rocks block them in, pillars block them in. They are stuck. That's why you gotta like be careful with what kind of beautification you use. So, any building central has closed off. They can't get employees. Now, in theory, the people of the houses themselves could work there, but the game doesn't understand how to operate this, so they'll all die because the interior services will die. However, I believe, now I might be wrong, but I, I believe if we break just like one... Oh, how do we make the gap? I think the gap... I think if we break this pillar here... But can they walk over flower gardens? I, th I think if we break this pillar, that one pillar, the game will simulate the flow of goods through that stuff, and the buildings will turn on again. Let's see. Will they? Or do they... They, they don't... Or is there something under there? I mean, how long before they devolve? Right, they're not repopulating. Um... I mean, why can't they flow through that? Oh, I guess because of this gap here. All right. Well... So what did I do with the beautification that ruined this? Was it the back of the houses? They need a gap, basically. Somewhere they need a gap. But did they ever have a gap? Do you know what I mean? Like, what did I build? This is going to be amazing to watch back, the footage. Because what did I build that broke the gap? To be honest, I still don't really know. I think we have to get rid of one of the houses. Probably this guy. Which is a shame, because I love his spot. If we get rid of this guy, surely the game can see now that there's a gap coming up through here. See, look, and you can see the guy's pathing out of it. There you go, and everyone's back. Something really cool can probably be done with all of that. So here, in fact, we can test now, right? Flower garden. Do they depopulate? No, they're okay to walk over a flower garden. And they're probably okay to walk over parks. So there you have it. Fun stuff. I like that, though. He can't access the labor pool, it says. Oh, no, he can. No, he can't. Lava? We conquered Taras. Whoa, lava in the earthquake. Whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm really nervous about our podium. Why does our podium not work? I mean, he would appear to have a road. The tax office cannot access the labor pool. The infirmary cannot access the labor pool, but it can. There's people at the infirmary. There's people at the water fountain. But is that only temporary? Oh, I don't know. I think maybe this isn't good enough. Maybe the flower garden did block them off. Yeah, look, they've turned off now. And now they've turned back on. All right. Okay, I think the flower garden is bad. There, it's working again now. Really sneaky. Very cool setup. Right, let's come over here and make sure this isn't flowing too far. Yeah, I was going to build... Well, no, I wasn't. <laughs> I had no interest in building anything around here. And that's not because I looked ahead and saw where natural disasters are. You guys are going to see... Uh, we haven't seen all the natural disasters. I think natural disasters become a big part of the game. In my opinion, you shouldn't look ahead where the natural disasters are. You should suffer from them and then reload or try to work around it. That's what gives your city character. If you don't do that, I think it sort of sucks. So there you go. So they're getting culture. They're growing. I'm looking to close this out now. So the final sanctuary needs to be finished. They're just... They're working away on it. That's all it is. They just need a little bit of marble. They'll get that at the end of next year. So the sanctuaries are done. The estates are done. Everything's done. We just need a profit. Um... So let's start selling our wine again. 
Let's see. What is our wine stockpile? We have 39. We're buying grapes. What we want to do is buy low-rate stuff. I'm going to stop buying wine there. That will be good for profit. We want to buy cheap stuff. And we want to sell fancy stuff. So olives, for example, and then sell olive oil. So, oh, and now that we've conquered him, I think our last trading post, here we go. Two more trading posts, one to Olympia. Here. And then we'll move the maintenance man to there. One to Olympia and one to Taras. Uh, there, I guess. I would really rather that that be symmetrical. I think to make it symmetrical, we delete that. Victorious Warriors return. Yeah, and then we put Taras there like that. It's not totally symmetrical, but it's pretty good. So here we can sell armor. Oh, and we're buying it. We don't need to buy armor anymore. Okay, that's very good. And we can buy um, fleece, I guess. All right, selling the armor to Taras. That'll put us into clean money real quick and um, in fact so like this bay here they'll probably just move from that bay but we don't we, now that we're getting tributes of armor we don't need to buy armor anymore definitely not just buy the bronze make our own armor or receive armor as tribute these guys are trying to sell more sculpture but they can't so here we go so we load the armor up we start to sell it look at this everybody loves us everybody loves us uh, except Taras, probably, who are bitter. They want armor. I'll give you 16 suits of armor. Uh, where is it? So, yeah, we got 141. Look, we can now afford to just give armor away. I think that's all of our rivals done. That's the conclusion of uh, Athens, guys. And... Well, we learned a lot in this adventure, didn't we? Elite housing became very stable in the end, except this block here which has a bit of an on-off situation. All of this is okay. Mount Pelion loves us. You're damn right you do. Let's give them a diplomacy monument. Let's give these guys a monument. See, this is Lava Valley. You could even do another housing block there. We're really kind of getting into free play temptation at this point. That would be so cool to put something there. Let's put, no, we can't put a hedge maze. We can put a flower garden there, though. I don't know. Because these guys might genuinely want a bit more appeal. Victory monument there. That's good. You could even, I mean, this would be a real um, flex, you know. You can flex at the entrance of your city by putting monuments around. One of each, you know. Look at that. Great. We actually are going to have so many conquest monuments. Um... So look, the trade has come in. Hermes, this is kind of this big, beautiful thing. I love Hermes. But at the same time, they're grateful for the armor. And I'll do it again if you want. He's loyal now. At the same time, I kind of feel like Hermes didn't do much in the end. He was the god that stuck with us for a long time. But there's our manufacturing. The wall is still a little bit broken from when the... Uh, dragon attacked us, but we have a wall in and a wall out. Let's just clear that, because I think there was some rubble on the other side that was preventing me from place down. No combat this episode. The Ithmian Games, Marathon Nossus, everyone loves us. So, let's look at uh, employees. 200 workers needed. Now, as soon as I hit the finance goal, are they... There you go, we've already done it. And um, we're way over, it, actually. Let's put the wage rate back up to very high. Jason is now happy to come. What what were we even waiting for with Jason? Jason is needed to do battle with the dragon. Well, go on then, Jason. You do your thing. <laughs> I mean, look, Hercules is wandering around. Jason will arrive. We've got a bunch of heroes here. Um, I completely just talked myself off. Why did I want more workers? Oh, yeah. Because what I want to complete the look finally, we have our Tyremes patrolling, which is good. But what about our towers? So... 192 people are unemployed. I will employ you guys by manning the towers. 
And I don't know how many workers that'll take. We don't have too many towers, I don't think. Look at that. 100 people unemployed, and that's only 3%. Amphipo Amphipolis sells more fish. I'm sure they do. Taris got even more armor. Olympia is dedicated to us. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So we're just waiting for the sanctuary to finish. So we don't even need the olive oil that she produces in the end, because we're done. They want four marble. They've got two. Let's super speed. The marble will be arriving. Employees needed. I love how smooth everything looks. You can really enjoy the 60 FPS while we're speeding this along. 16 fleece. Thank you. Lorian. So tributes come in. There's the marble from the tribute. I don't actually think they were taking it across the map. We definitely have some distribution stuff. Someone's even sending us carrots now. Arbor of Athena complete. And we've read that text before. So that's it, guys. That's the end of the mission. Uh, it's going to do a pop-up. Athens, the golden city, is a jewel in the Greek countryside. People from around the world flock to it to drink in its beauty and partake of its diverse cultural offerings. In the harshest and most barren of environments, you have managed to build a city that has all the amenities of the richest, most fertile lands. You have led Athens through times of great turmoil, from which it has emerged unblemished and strong. Greece's most noble heroes are frequently spotted on the city's streets, and monsters and other unsavory types steer clear of the most notable city in the world. I feel like I bonded a lot with Knossos there. They were the original bully. Turned out they paled in comparison to the other enemies. And in the end, you know, they are the only ones that bought our cheese. So look, just for my own personal satisfaction, Grower's Lodges have finally unlocked. I won't give you my trivia about Grower's Lodges. We don't need four, we only need two probably, because we don't have that many trees. I'll give you that on the next adventure. The next adventure also, also I assume, yeah, and we already had olive presses, so we can have some on-site olive press stuff, and we're even more self-sustaining now. Oh, and let's look at the, uh, the towers. There you go, look. People defending the palace. I was curious about right-clicking these guys, if they'll talk to us, but I don't think you can. Like, it's saying empty land. But these guys wandering along. There are no enemies here now, but I'm ready just the same. Thank you, I'm sure you are ready. And then the other wall to the city over here. Uh, probably needs a road. I think that's been the problem. So like an honor rule I think you should follow here is these roads should be connected to meaningful roads. Otherwise, like, what's the point in all this? But we can do a road up here. Come on, click the road. Thank you. And then we can build a tower like there. Nice. 400 workers needed while we're manning all this stuff. But otherwise, we're really good. Housing for 700 more people. There you go, that's my Athens, guys. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. Oh, hold on, this guy, they, they, they're not evolved. They have a podium. Oh, we never gave them the gym. We just said Jimothy a couple of times. That sucks, because that's going to ruin all of that. Oh, well, whatever. It's all academic now. None of it matters. Yeah, we'll do, that's, that's a nice path for people to go visit the fish pond. That's what that is. Oh. <laughs> the water carriers got stuck. Well, people will go without war in this one. So they'll evolve. Neeming Games. Collapsed building. Oh, I never gave these guys maintenance. Oh, God, I need to stop. Yeah, people love me. I don't think we're going to get attacked again. Hold on. Uh, olive press. One, two, three. I want to see. There you go. They fully evolved. Lovely. 340 workers needed. 8,000 people working here. Let's try to remember that we hit 8,000 population here because who knows what our next great city will uh, will do. How many more people are moving in? Hundreds. And so there we go. A gift of grapes. Housing for 40 more people. Lack of housing vacancies. That's it, guys. Right at the end of the year, perfectly as well. Word, word, word. Suits of armor. Fleece, fleece. Carrots, fleece. I mean, we could do anything now. We're getting so much. Um, a couple of workers needed, but only because I'm doing the towers. We turn the towers off, and the city is done. But I want to have them there because, look, they look cool. 
thank you very much for watching me on Athens through the ages. Join me next time for, well, let's see. Uh, Athens complete. I keep thinking there's more land up here to the north as well, but no, we put Apollo right right up there. The Apollo one looks really good. By the way, you can mod and customize it. Oh, that's stories for later. Here we go. Uh, no adventure. Join me next time for Hercules' labors. Oh, yeah. Right at the start of Zeus and Europa, we saw a little bit of this. Uh, actually, no. Uh, I just skipped one there. I'm here to tell you in editing that it's actually Jason. All right, we, we skipped one ahead. We'll be doing Jason next time. And I've been teasing you about water carriers. There is one final big thing about the game. Uh, and housing blocks and basic city design that we will be implementing next time. And it's very fancy and really cool. And I think you guys will like it. So I'll see you for that uh, on the next one. It's been brilliant, guys. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, hope it comes up soon. Bye-bye. Do you know what? I just alluded to it in the outro there, so why not? Here, guys, another little bit of uh, juicy info uh, for one of these bonus sections at the end here. Uh, modding this game is really easy. It's just like text files that you go in, you change the text, it will change dialogue that's in-game. Obviously not the voice acting or whatever, but it's really easy to mess with things. It's all pretty open and exposed. One of the things you can do as well is you can change the way that the temples look. Every piece of how a temple is set up is like a little tile that you can can move its orientation and you can actually use this to cheat you can make temples be full of like olive trees or full of like uh, mining nodes or you can do all kinds of stuff so here's um, a little gallery ro rolling in in the background of just some alternate temple graphics which way early on in like 2000 2001 someone sort of showed this was possible and it's kind of the classic modding thing from uh, you know that first slew when Zeus was first out uh, it's pretty interesting I didn't actually shoot any episodes with this mod because it does have that gameplay uh, mechanic on there but uh, kind of fun to think about and it's totally open for you you know there's like three different packs mod packs I think online and all they do is just change the ways that the temples look I kind of wanted to leave it for the let's play as well because um, I want you guys to have a sense of what the vanilla temples look like instead of tweaked ones uh, and there is an example by the way in the vanilla game where a temple changes and that is for the expansion Poseidon Poseidon's temple that you see it in Zeus itself looks different once the expansion comes out it gets much bigger and more fancy so it's kind of like the devs doing the same thing. Uh, but yeah, just a fun little screenshot gallery for you here uh, for the little bonus section. Now, what am I going to buy? A horse. It's a horse, of course. <laughs> of course. Move along, little doggies. These well-bred horses are sure to be exactly what my demanding customers want. Why couldn't one of these horses be Pegasus now? Hmm? I'd love to be able to fly out of here.